What's up, everybody? This is your boy Dread Tutorial, and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorial. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content. And before we do get straight to it, guys, just to let you guys know that all the mods that you see in this video is in some of my description below, so go and check it out. And don't forget to disable your antivirus. So, with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, now this video is all about map editor and add-on pairs. There's about hundreds of people out there that are still having trouble on installing their map editor and their add-on pairs. Or some of them is having crash problems or the L key isn't showing and working and etc. Or the L7 key isn't working. So we are going to get straight into it guys, okay? but before we do, make sure you download and install all the requirements first, okay? That's the really most important thing you got to do. And don't forget guys, I always start my tutorials with a clean folder. So all you guys got to do is download all the mods, okay, and requirements, okay? Once you guys do that, I'm going to download my pet selector, okay? make sure you guys go into my downloads and download the peer selector inside my download and the native ui inside my downloads too most importantly you must download these two guys okay really important once the download is finished and complete all you got to do is go to your i'm going to put this on my side over here so guys, the next thing you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, right click on it, open file location, and as you guys can see, this is a clean folder. Now guys, warning, okay, okay, I keep telling everybody this, okay, really, 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 you got to really listen, okay, guys, okay, we got to get straight, okay, okay, guys, so all you got to do now is, since this is a clean folder, we are going to go and open up our open iv open up open iv if you do not have open iv i've got it in some of the description install it it's really easy to install okay go to your grand theft auto v windows open up the windows and then after that guys all you got to do is go to your tools do not touch anything go to tools go to asi manager and then install ASI Loader and then install OpenIV.ASI and then select yes and then install Open Camera. Close your application and just minimize your OpenIV. Now we are going to install all our requirements. Make sure that you got all the script hook V's latest updates, okay, and even your trainers. Go to Script Hog V, Extract Folder, go into the Bin Folder, and then select Input 8.dll and Script Hog V.dll and drag them both inside your GTA V main directory. If the application pops up, just push Yes, Replace. And then open up your Script Hog V.net Extract Folder. And then now select scripthogv.net.asi.dll and .xml. Drag those three files inside your GTA V main directory. And now guys, we are going to install our trainers. Open up trainer v extract folder. And select trainer v.asi and .ini. Drag them both inside your GTA V main directory. Then open up your menu extract folder and select menu stuff folder and menu.asi drag them both into your GTA V main directory. Now guys what we gotta do is go and go to your, your main directory and right click 
refresh. Right click again and create a new folder. Now name that folder scripts. Press enter and press enter again. And now all we're going, going to do guys now is open up your mods okay which is a map editor and then now copy everything inside map editor and drag them all inside your scripts folder so guys you must do that okay then now guys after that the native ui.dll that you downloaded from my downloads open up that okay guys open up that native ui this native UI is version 1.7 so guys map editor does not support the latest version of native UI version 1.8 so you must install version 1.7 and drag it into your scripts folder this will pop up again okay guys so all you gotta do is press replace and then that's it and now your map editor works all you guys got to do next is go to your GTA V main directory, right click and refresh. Now we are going to go and add our add-on pegs. Open up your add-on pegs extract folder. Now as you guys can see, there is a DRC pack in here. And in my mods folder, I've got nothing. So I need to have updates. So I'm just going to go and quickly copy this guys. And if you guys are starting a new folder, okay, I will leave this update inside my downloads too, okay? And paste it right here. Inside my mod folder. This will take a few seconds, guys. Now, guys, we have finished down. All you guys got to do now, okay, is go to your mods folder. Go to updates. Go to 64. Go to DRC packs. And now all you guys got to do is go to your extract folder go to drc packs and then go to add on pins folder check to see if there's a drc.rp in here go back one select your add on pins folder and drag it into your drc packs go back one and go on go back to your gta v game and go back to your main directory open up your scripts folder Open up your script folder inside your extract folder and then select peerselector.dil and drag it into your script folder. Go back to your GTA V main directory and over here go back to the main folder. And now guys all you gotta do next is select add on editor.exe and add on peersvars.xml drag them both inside your GTA V main directory now guys all you got to do next is select the readme.html scroll down the bottom and you'll see a code over here the drc packs add on pins code copy that guys select it and copy it and that's all you got to do quit out of there and now guys quit out of here you don't need it anymore and now all you guys got to do next is refresh your main directory minimize that go to your open iv go inside the mods folder i think it's mod, yeah, mods go to updates go to update.rpf go to common go to data scroll right down the bottom and then now all you guys got to do make sure that you click on edit mode click yes right click on drc list.xml and click on edit scroll right down the bottom then select over here over here guys and then press enter once and then now paste your drc add on pins code and then save the code go back to your drc list again double click and check to see if the code is still there and yes it is back out of there guys click on edit mode yeah, click on your mods for um, your GTA uh, your GTA and then quit out of there guys and now go back to your folder guys now all you guys got to do now is double check your your mods okay guys just to see if it's all there 
and double check okay now go back to your script folder guys now one more thing we are going to do guys is to make the L button work now in order for the L button to work okay make sure you download the peer selector inside my description and it will be inside my description inside the my inside my downloads okay so make sure you download it okay, okay guys okay now open up your peer selector extract folder and then go to your peer selector folder and all you guys gotta do next is select peerselector.dll file and drag it into your script folder the application will pop up all you gotta do is press replace and now guys your L button will work now guys all you gotta do is go to your GTAV main directory again right click refresh put out of there guys and right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and guys we are back in the game now as you guys can see that I have, have installed all the mods inside my folder in a clean folder now you guys saying to me that the L button does not work and you guys saying to me that map editor does not work well that is, that's all lies guys it does work okay so we are going to go and open up our menu guys so before we do let's open up our trainer v and trainer v does work and now uh, let's open up our menu press f8 twice one two and that does work and now these are the two menus that everybody has been stuck on okay is map editor and add on pins so to open up your map editor is f7 and there you go guys see it works okay works like a charm and to open up your add on pins menu is to press l and there you go guys see it works okay if you guys really put your mind into it okay you guys would know what you're doing but as you guys can see i've got some pins in here but the reason why i got pins in here it is because they these pins are inside another folder so i didn't add any pins in here guys but it is inside another folder if i do press on one of these my game will freeze so i don't want to press on them but guys um and you guys can see that map editor and add on pins does work okay so guys as you guys can see that i did start this tutorial with a clean folder okay so if you guys are getting stuck okay and if your game's still crashing when you follow this tutorial then make sure you make a clean folder and then now add your add on pins and install your map editor and slowly add your other mods into the folder so you can see which mod is infecting your add-on pins and your map editor okay guys so make sure you do that guys okay it does work okay you guys already saw it okay so i highly recommend you guys creating a new folder if your game crashed okay so guys with that said thanks for watching guys and i hope you guys do uh, enjoy the video if you guys did don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming gaming content and even tutorials too guys i do upload daily gta v pc modding tutorials so i hope you guys do enjoy it so with that i'll see you guys thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video peace and i'm out thanks for watching guys